Okay, today is the summit on social justice, or we call it the Social Justice Summit. It's the culmination of four events. We started with a symposium on hunger and social justice. Then we had uh, an event honoring social justice champions, particularly those that are impacting on hunger. That was on the 16th. And then yesterday, the 17th, we had an international social justice conference where we're harvesting ideas from all over the world. Today, it's a focus on South Africa Social Justice Summit, and we, we're looking at hunger. We had the privilege of listening to various keynote speakers, particularly the minister in the department, uh, the minister in the presidency, giving us a view of what governments take on the duty to liberate people from hunger and to honour the commitment to ensure zero hunger by 2030. Well, the key achievement will be pledges. You've already heard the Vice-Chancellor of Stellenbosch saying uh, he will make it his job to make sure that student hunger becomes history. And, you know, Prof. Vim will be with us only until next year, but we've seen what he's done on social justice. Secondly, we want uh, collaboration between government and civil society and we heard the minister saying um, we will work better when government is informed by research coming from academic institutions such as Stanford University. Thirdly, we want acceptance that hunger is wrong, it's a violation of human dignity, it's a violation of human rights and that it's the duty of every person who can do something to end hunger. Yes, it's government's duty, but it's not government's duty alone. Working together, we can end, end hunger. So we're hoping that everyone will live here, having made a pledge, so that when we come back next year, we just want to know how far did you go. We heard, from, for example, from the Food and Agriculture Organization, giving us ideas on where can we make a difference. One of the areas that he, he spoke about is small-scale agriculture, urban agriculture and um, rural agriculture. And I think things like that are very tangible things that we can then look at who's going to fund it, who's going to do it, and how will we hold each other accountable. Because for us, it's part of the broader Musa plan for social justice. And hunger is just one of the dimensions of enduring injustices in our country that can be traced to colonialism, apartheid and patriarchy.